This is kind of like our own way to celebrate and honor everyone that is essential workers, even the non-essential workers. We're just happy to celebrate people getting through this crap together. Woo, wasn't that awesome? Now, could you guys tell the difference between the real jets and the toy jets? <laughs> well, as far as a toy goes, these are very awesome, powerful, fast RC jets. And because Abby and I got to witness those real F-16 jets fly by very near to our house, it motivated us, it excited us to get out and share two of our favorite RC jets with you guys. Believe it or not, Abby's gonna fly one of these and I'll fly the other. We are gonna take turns though because we don't have an amazing third camera person. Social distancing, I guess but we've never had an amazing third <laughs> camera person. So today I'm gonna fly my F-16. Abby's gonna be on the F-15 Eagle. I don't know, what do you think? Should ladies go first? Sure. Okay, Abby, you may notice the bottom of your jet no longer has the missiles, bombs, fuel tanks, or any type of ordinance. That's because on your last landing, although it was perfect, it just kind of bounced off. That's okay, we can glue them back on, but because we rushed out the door and didn't have time to wait for glue to dry, I decided to pop the other one off too. I think you'll be able to get in the air just a little bit faster without those on there. I don't think we've ever flown the F-15 without them, so this should be fun. I think you're gonna like it bomb free. Okay, Abby just walked it all the way down there so she could do a nice ground takeoff, and the wind shifted, It's but there's almost no wind now, so. Remember, you can steer it on the ground with your left stick, and you might need to some. 100% Abby. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. You got it in the air. Great job. Great takeoff. I could have gotten it in there faster, but I didn't full throttle and full elevator. I wanted to try to get it lined up before I got that nose off the ground. Well, nicely done. You did a good job. Now, Abby and I are flying these jets basically. I'm sorry, I already got really far. You're okay. And just doing our own thing. This is kind of like our own way to celebrate and honor everyone that is essential workers, even the non-essential workers. We're just happy to celebrate people getting through this crap together. And all, always, our channel has always been about just having fun with RC, but it just seems so appropriate and so perfect after seeing those two F-16s fly by together that she and I take our two favorite, <laughs> at least newest, most favorite RC jets out. These puppies are easy to fly. The one that Abby's flying right now is the one that I recommend for the average beginner. And by beginner, I mean you probably should have at least one RC plane of experience under your belt before you fly this. But we've witnessed a lot of our good friends. Shout out to a couple of you, Dan N, David C, uh, we've got Gary. Who else flew with us? Uh, Mike. A lot of a lot of friends we've witnessed in person fly these as their very first jet. And if you're interested, we'll have it linked in the description box below. You guys can get the same exact jet that we're flying. We'll recommend our favorite battery and radio to pair up with it. And if you already have other airplanes, you can get this without a receiver. A bug just flew in my eye. <laughs> And you can pair it up with your favorite radio if you're not flying on Spectrum anyway. Nice fly, nice slow flyby, Abby. Very nice. That was beautiful. And if you're interested in flying RC planes but you've never flown one before, welcome to our channel. You're in a perfect spot. We are here to help the beginner, intermediate pilot, and some advanced pilots get their RCs in the air. Abby is very quiet during these videos. I'm gonna shut up on this pass, give a nice, Nice pass, Abby. I'll shut up so they can hear it. You're not Ooh. flying at full throttle, are you? Oh, no. Yeah. So these things, the beautiful thing about oh, these... Yeah, half throttle. That's amazing. The beautiful thing about these jets is that they sound awesome. They are not like your average EDF, which is an electric ducted fan jet. This is not flying on jet fuel, but it is flying on a whole lot of power. This is a 4S battery. 
nice and fast. Abby is not flying at full throttle, but when I fly my jet, I will on a few passes for sure. Or try to land. <laughs> and the amazing, that's fine, the wind just picked up. Now the amazing thing about these jets is they're almost guaranteed to crash eventually. And when they do, a little dab of hot glue or foam safe glue, foam safe CA glue is highly recommended. You can patch it right up and get it back in the air. I have crashed this and snapped it in half and it still flies beautifully. Oh, Abby, nice job. That was perfect. Look how close it was. Yeah, great <laughs> job. Both of these RC jets have seen better days. <laughs> Nate's F-16 that he's flying um, doesn't have landing gear on it. <laughs> he had some rough crashes with it. So now he just does hand launches and I think the hand launches always look super cool on this F-16. <sighs> I love this thing. It looks so good with a red, white, well, red, white, blue, and gray. <laughs> Yeah, this thing flies so good. I put my battery CG, or center of gravity, a little farther back, so I should be able to do some tighter loops now, and even some, uh, maybe some Harriers, we'll see. That loop was pretty nice, though. So mine, I don't have safe on, but I still have AS3X. Now I can turn safe, which is just a beginner flight assistance mode. I can turn that on if I want to, but I have it on, I don't have it assigned to a switch on this, so it's permanently off. For this flight. Both jets are amazing. I highly recommend the F-15 to be your first RC jet and then maybe step into this one if you like the price point and the size of them because they're basically paired to go together. We're gonna full throttle and climb. We'll have to fly these together very soon, Nate. Yeah, I think we could put our GoPros on and make it That's happen. That's the only way it's gonna happen. So we'll have to do a couple rolls out here. This just motivated us seeing those jets. And you know what was really crazy? It was the people that showed up to see those jets fly. What, what we showed you guys, about three seconds of a flyby, is about all that anybody got to see. Although everyone was really far away from each other, there were a ton of people out there. You're gonna see big jets and they're gonna be really loud. Maybe, maybe. They might be loud. And they'll be fast. And they'll be fast, that's for sure. Oh, here, here. Oh, oh there they are! Nice, there we go, two of them. Look at this. Although my sister's in-laws, they live on top of a hill locally and they live farther down the river than what we are, they actually got to see them bank. pass and bank and amazing. they like pretty much flew over their house. It was amazing. So I might see if I can steal their video. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and put it in here for you guys to see because <laughs> the video footage they got was absolutely incredible. right this way. I'm trying to do a little bit of Harrier out there. It's hard to do with a jet that doesn't have a ton of elevator authority. Also, not a lot of aileron authority and there is no rudder on this puppy, although the front steering wheel does work on both if you have wheels on. Oh! There we go. 
Did you just touch the ground? It's really close. <laughs> this jet is a little bit more fun and agile once you kind of get the hang of things. If you want to do a little bit more sporty stuff and just kind of some weird stunts that you don't normally see a jet like this do, this is pretty fun to do. I don't think that it's the best beginner jet though. It just flies a little more squirrely than the F-15. The F-15 is on rails and just a perfect, perfect jet. I miss people, you guys. I miss people so bad. I just want to go to events and see people doing things again. But for the time being, this is the best hobby, other than maybe video games. <laughs> but this is still a healthier hobby, in my opinion, than video games. It gets us out, it gets us some fresh air, and we still get a few rare social opportunities where maybe we get to talk to people that are just passing by at the airfield. Look at that, that's full throttle. Our battery's getting a little bit low. Now, a lot of people that are gonna be watching this video might be new to RC. Maybe you've never even seen an RC jet fly before. On average, with the jet that Abby and I flew, we can probably get four to five minutes of flight on these jets. And the way I'm flying it, four minutes is probably pretty good if I wanna take care of my batteries. The batteries are good for probably close to a thousand cycles, but we can realistically say at least a few hundred if you're taking pretty good care of your batteries. And if you get a more beginner-friendly airplane that is not a jet, you can fly easily a lot of things for an hour or so. I mean, just depends how much, you know, how much wind you're catching, how much gliding you're doing. But on average, a lot of airplanes these days, maybe 20 minutes <laughs> on a battery. So that was really low, well, wasn't it? You're at four minutes. <laughs> okay, we'll land it very soon. I'm just gonna climb it up. I wanna do one good fast flyby for everybody. Let's fly it out there over the, over the building. We'll do a fast flyby, full throttle, and then I'll bring it in for a landing. I still have one more battery that I get to fly off camera too. Here's full throttle. We're just gonna cook it right by. Woo! And I can tell our battery's getting a little low. So we're gonna bring it in. When's the last time you saw me bank it in right like that, Abby, to do a landing? A uh, very long time. Yeah, I don't do that. Let's break in tradition. Oh, a little fast. No landing gear though, so that's pretty good for no, one no bad. wheels. I should have <laughs> flared and let it bleed off some more speed. I'm sure it's okay. Isn't that just awesome? I love this hobby. And I'm really happy that Abby and I were able to throw both of these in one piece, just in the trunk of our car. We didn't have to lay seats down or anything. Really amazing. These both fly really well and very different, honestly. The F-15, Abby's Eagle, is a better beginner jet. It flies on rails, nice and straight and very predictable, especially with safe or beginner mode on. This one, you turn safe off and it's just a little more squirrely, but it's a lot more fun to fly. It's a perfect pair for me and Abby to fly together. As she said, we're gonna have to bring the GoPros out and just fly them together and see what that's like. If we get good, maybe we can fly in formation, just like the real jets that we saw today, which is why we got motivated to come out here and fly ours. Really awesome. It's kind of sad to see that that is our social opportunities now, when really, it was only a three second jet flying by. But behind us behind was our us. experience. Whoa, that Whoa, bird. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's trying to fly like I was. It was just a lot of fun. It really encouraged us and, and lifted our spirits just to see him. Amelia had a great time waiting for the 10 minutes that we were on the riverfront. You know, getting outside and enjoying life. And I think that that's why I love this hobby so much. I'm gonna really be happy when all these restrictions get lifted and hopefully people are good and safe and we can all fill up the field again and fly together. It's gonna be a good day. Until then, we're happy to continue to bring you guys videos of us getting out and enjoying the hobby, showing you what's good and what's not good. As many times as these jets have been on the channel, I think you guys know which route to go. These are amazing, they're so much fun, and you're not gonna break the bank for something that performs so well and it's just so robust. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. If you wanna pick either one of these jets up, we'll have all the ways you can buy it, with the receiver, without, our favorite transmitters on the budget ones, and of course our favorite batteries and chargers. I wanna thank the pilots and everyone involved in getting those two jets to fly by. I'm sure that wasn't a very easy thing to do, very high skill set. And I wanna thank God for getting us out and about and able to see them fly by and getting us out here on a beautiful weather day. The wind died down just long enough for us to fly, Abby, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. It's really awesome just to, we live in a very 
strange time and for us to just be able to continue with a, a lot of what we do we're so grateful before we go i want to thank all of our patreon supporters as well we just couldn't do what we're doing without you guys you're so very important to the channel and to us you're keeping food in our bellies fuel in the tank and batteries charged and it really just means the world to us to be able to provide free content for everybody is what you're providing for not only us but everybody watching and that means a lot right now so thank you very much abby had a maiden flight of her f-15 the very first time she flew we captured that moment on camera that video is going to be popping up right about now if you don't believe us that that's a good beginner friendly jet check out that video it's a lot of fun thanks for watching we'll see you there bye